Live entertainment is right in your backyard. Take a look as we shine the spotlight on another production playing on Long Island. Well, I was with the original 1980 production. I was Gower Champion's assistant. And then in 2001, when they revived it, I choreographed it, reinvented the show, and we did a lot of changes. And it's really wonderful because Gateway has seen the show several times, but they've never seen this version because no one really gets to do it unless I'm involved. So it's, it's really special here in Belport to be able to bring this new version of 42nd Street to the, to the Gateway Playhouse. It's pretty amazing that a show like this has like never left my life. You know, from 1980 clear now to 2014, it just somewhere in the world, somebody is doing 42nd Street. It's just one of what we call one of those mega hits. The crash has just happened and uh, Broadway's suffering mightily. And uh, so a new show is coming. It's kind of the last chance for a lot of people. When your personal life gets in the way of my show, I direct that to you. It's high intensity. That's the thing about the show. Gower kind of designed the show so that everything continued to overlap. Scenes went into scenes. There was no space, no dead time, no downtime. There's a central story, of course, but this show is all about the kids and the dancing. So when we get to money, when those kids are out there dancing and, and, and singing and they're doing the one, one of the big numbers, money, it's just quite an amazing thing to stand off stage and watch. My character's name is Billy Lawler. Uh, he plays the male ingenue hired in the musical Pretty Lady. And at the first day of rehearsal, uh, a young lady named Peggy Sawyer comes in, and he spends pretty much the next uh, part of his life pursuing her. The root of 42nd Street is really based in the ensemble and, and everything that they have to offer as a, as a So the dance numbers are very much centered around that, the power of, of Eunice and the power of of the group, the power of people. Who is that person? Her name is Peggy Sawyer. She's new. You okay, kid? She's fainted. Thank God. I love this role. Her name is Peggy Sawyer. Uh, she's a small town girl from Allentown, Pennsylvania, and shows up in the big city to, to try to get work, really, and, and show business. In the end, she ends up taking over for the lead role and, and starring in a Broadway show. So it's, it's fun. It's every girl's dream. It's interesting. I mean, when I first um, did this show years ago, I um, ended up having to take over for Peggy Sawyer um, because one of the leads left the show. And so I was the chorus girl that was plucked out and put on stage as Peggy and kind of just like bright eyed, fresh into the city. And, and it, was, it was wild, but it was amazing. So it does happen more often than you think. I love dancing with the girls more than anything and go into your dance. We have such a good time on stage and it's when Peggy first gets to really show off her talent, so it's a lot of fun. Thank you, Manny. You may have done me quite a favor. Anytime, Mr. Marsh. Anytime. I play Anytime Annie, as they call her. She's the chorus girl who's been around the block until Peggy gets there and Peggy comes in and um, Annie actually welcomes her with open arms. Annie's a girl's girl. She wants to have a lot of fun, and she's always up for a good time. My 
absolute favorite is Lullaby of Broadway, where we, um, as a company, we all come together and we um, try to convince Peggy to save the show, and you'll have to come see us to see if she does.